reason Christianity is not growing in America, and that's growing, it, now it's growing, it's growing in other countries, yeah. Yeah. but America has become a post-Christian nation. Yeah. Post. I'm saying that based on, on, based on the fact that it's not growing, when you run polls, fewer surveys, fewer and fewer people attend church. Fewer and fewer people, we know how to change the chairs, attend the convocations, the workers' meetings. Well, I don't care whether it's national or jurisdictional, whatever. We're having less and less influence on people. Our singers want to pretend that they're hip hop stars. Our preachers want to preach uh, in jeans and t shirts. Whatever the uh, nomenclature or the, the talk is in the world, it finds its way in the church. Yep. Right. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. They influence us much more than we influence them. And the reason that this is happening, I believe, is because we stop preaching grown man grown woman messages we spent we begin to we begin to spend all our time trying to be motivational speakers yeah. Come on, sir. every sermon's got to be about you coming out god giving you something excusing your wickedness god's gonna judge you god's gonna judge you if, if you don't believe me watch and see about things like this, I'm never wrong. Never. Daniel could have done it. But he said no. And ended up in the den of lions. And to me, the most powerful scripture in the Bible, one of the ones that nothing gives me joy. Like the next morning, the king got up. Looked into the lions and, 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 and called in there and said, Oh, Daniel, was your God able to protect you, to keep you in the lion's den? Then the next verse says, Then said Daniel. <laughs> then said Daniel. Daniel, let me tell you something. Our God is a keeper. But you got to take a stand. You got the need to be kept. We almost need to stop preaching and come out from among them. Because we didn't change and allowed so much in the church that there's not much to come out of anymore. Yeah, he, he, he prayed. He said, Lord, I need discernment. I need understanding. We, 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 we struggle when people now call this type of preaching mean. We like discernment. Our lives are struggling. Our, our homes are struggling. Because of just a series of bad decisions. Yeah, right. We can't manage a church service. We can't manage a wallet. Can't manage a relationship. Can't make a good decision on a song. Can't just, just, just discern me. The ability to know this from that. The ability to judge. To make distinctions. Let me tell you something. Don't you let anybody talk you out of. Sutherland, Sutherland, let anybody talk you out of distinguishing between right and wrong. It'll rob you of your joy. Your light will go out. You sit there and you can't even get into service. You'll look like a different person. Yeah. 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 That's the, de the devil's getting to you then. Yeah. Now I've got you questioning. Yeah. Come on, I'm not doubting about the way. Yeah. Walking in the light. Holiness is right. And I'm not doubting about the way. God 
God give me discernment. Every path. The late great Otis Lockett said something. Well, he said many things. I quote him quite a bit. He said one day he got along with God and he said to the Lord, and I incorporated this in my quiet time. He said to God, Lord, where am I, am I carrying these people? I've asked God up a room, NC third. God, where am I carrying these people? They listen to me. They trust me. For the most part, they're following me. Where am I leading them? The one and said, "Are we really doing your will?" See, we're in a world today. We're in a world today. Where the church has endorsed sin. We endorse sin. We say we're not. But we're doing it. This is a di different day. There's no conviction. Perverts walk around our services. Men walk around now in the holy national services. Dressed like women. And no one says a word. And, and, and you know what? They, they ain't afraid. They're not ashamed. And look online, and lo and behold, they've, they've taken a picture, and, and standing there grinning beside them is a supervisor or a bishop or a leader. A pervert walked up to me when they said, Bishop wouldn't, Bishop wouldn't. Can I take a picture with you? Will you take a picture with me? I said, I will not. We were in the lobby of a hotel. Now, when people hear this, they think I'm mean. I'm not being mean. I love the young man. He said, why? I said, because you're standing there. You, you're much taller than me. I said, man, you, 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 you'd make some woman a, a great husband, some kids a great dad, but you're standing there with a woman's top on, a female brooch on, you dressed like a girl. No, I can't take a picture with you. For, you, for him to post that, what did they say? A picture worth a thousand words. That's right. Mm -mm. I had discern, just discernment. Discernment. Then I saw him again at the next national meeting. And uh, uh, he had kind of uh, uh, improved a little bit. He said, will you take a picture with me now? I said, I will not. Pain commercials trying to make you think wrong is right trying to make you think that uh, it uh, that it's all right to kill the fruit of the womb and preachers God's gonna get every one of you for not speaking up praise the Lord the Bible teaches that children are a heritage from the Lord and the last time I checked the Bible has not changed and it doesn't matter to me whether you're a Democrat or a Republican. You ought to be a Christian before you're any of these things. And you ought to demand that any, praise the Lord, candidate. Somebody said, well, ain't none of them saved. Well, I'm not, talk, I'm not asking anybody to be saved. Praise the Lord. I would like to see them all get saved. The, now, the question is not, the question is not, and, and I'm a non-affiliate. The question is not who is promoting right because, Sister Laverne, that's right and good in the promotion and in the platforms of both parties. Both parties are saying something good. But the question that the Christian should ask is who is promoting evil? The question is not where can I find good? But who is promoting evil? I believe that transgenderism is evil. I believe it's evil to cut off a young, young man's penis. Oh, Lord, I believe it's evil to listen to a confused girl and cut off her breasts. Evil. Oh, I believe it's evil to 
heal the fruit of the womb. Oh, Lord. Eva, y'all don't like me. Somebody said, why do you talk about these things? No preacher worth their salt ever ignored the defining issues of their time. Somebody said, well, what about lying? Lying is wrong too. But I found out that lying is not the domain of the Democrats only. It's not the domain of the Republicans only. We got liars on both sides. Hallelujah. Lying and the Bible teaches that all liars gonna have their part in the lake. But I'm here to tell you today that it's evil for us to go along with a man see him on all kinds of shows uh, Bruce Jenner uh, on the right and all these other messed up folk on the left and these people are talking to men calling men women calling women men when you know that's a man you know that's a woman I'm telling you right now Patrick Wooden will never participate in something like that because if he won't lie to himself, I'm not going to lie to him. But what about showing respect? The most respectful thing that you can do is tell someone the truth. Love them enough to tell them the truth. You ain't got to hit them. You ain't got to stomp them. You don't have to insult them. But if God made you a man, you cannot make yourself a woman. If God made you a woman, you can't make yourself a man. You can't do it. You know, I don't bother y'all about your neighbor, but y'all to look at your neighbor and say, you can't do it. It can't be done. The enemy will try to fool you and get you to playing around. See, that's when you've lost your discernment. I didn't say you didn't have a collar. I didn't say that you didn't have a chain. I didn't say that you didn't have a jurisdiction. I didn't say that you don't have a district. I didn't say that you don't have a church. But you don't have discernment because you you lost the ability to discern between good and evil. And I heard Isaiah said, Woe be unto them that put light for darkness and darkness for light, bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. My God, good for evil and evil.